She goes, oh, because you've got no cabin for it. Hey? Do not. Did you see that? Did you see that? Did you see that? No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not allowed. I'm not allowed. No, do not. I'm telling you, bro, do not touch me. You. No, I'm not. For what? In a public place. Okay, I'm going to ring Mark. Hang on. Hang on a second. I'm going to ring Mark. Do not touch me. Do not touch me. Wait a second. I'm going to ring my lawyer. I am going. No, no, I'm not. I'm not. Do not touch me. I will touch you. Out you go. Mate, tell her. Tell her. Do not touch me. No, 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 no. Wait, wait. Do not touch me. Do not touch me. Do not touch me. I'm telling you. Do not. You're touching me. No, no, no. Do you wish to rest? You're a trespasser, you don't leave no, this building, no, Arrest me, arrest me, will get done in court, I'm, I'm telling you right now. You obviously do not watch Kiwi it's audits. No it's not. Okay, I'm ringing Mark, my lawyer. Hang on a second, hang on a now. second. Uh, listen to me. You're under arrest for trespassing. I'm not trespassing. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Uh, First stops first. After Tony got carted away in the in the uh, police car, according to the CCTV footage, and of course this was um, after he was put in the police car without even being searched. Um, they took him off and they did an interview. Now it was a very much a one-sided conversation because all it was was Aaron asking questions and. Tony either no comments or keeping his um, thoughts and opinions to himself. So, but that was never supplied in the disclosure. Now, I would have thought an interview with the defendant comes part and parcel, but perhaps it just doesn't have anything that's useful to them, so they don't want to supply it. But that's still just one more thing. Um, they, they, you might want to, the statement from... Um, from the security guard, S25, Mr. Mikendo. He um, he wanted his home address kept secret. Well, the typed version of his handwritten version that they already supplied us way back in October last year, well, they, you know, because they just, the, the pathetic excuse for disclosure that the police tend to give out, well, they're just a gift that keeps on giving. So even five right months... Five months after being told, um, you know, you're supposed to give full disclosure, but according to the court order, um, they still kept giving more. And they sent Tony the handwritten um, statements and they had all been typed. But what they didn't do was redact the home information of Peter McIndoe or Nicholas McIndoe. Oh. So this is a guy that's in a statement saying he felt intimidated um, by Tony. And the police's response is to hand out his home address. Even more reasons. They're breaching the Privacy Act and they're breaching the witness's privacy as well in their case by supplying his home address. So, um, yeah. Just more and more grounds, like I say, gift that keeps on giving. Thank you for your pathetic excuse of police work. Um, needless to say, if the Jetstar chick hadn't turned around and um, and 
and told Tony to go and organise a flight crew, none of it would have happened. Um, so the buck stops there, as far as I'm concerned. Um, but yeah, T Tony certainly didn't need to be attacked for filming, and what she thought was fair enough, private property, still a public place. Um, now I was actually going to print out all the documents, in fact I have just left them at home, but never to mind, it's, it's all on the phone anyway if I need it. And um, yeah, so first things first, I'm going to go and stop at the um, Auckland Airport Police Station and get some footage of there, because it's always nice to see where you were taken. Um, hopefully they'll uh, leave me alone, I'm not after any interaction, but same point if they choose that they want to come out and talk to me I might even try doing a silent one this time or if, at least just no comment and I don't answer questions um, I know I do get a bit yakky sometimes with the police to my detriment but um, so we're going to go there first and then we're going to go and um, head off to Auckland Airport and go back and get some footage of the uh, the scene of the uh, public interest incident. Alright guys, so um, yeah, we'll be there in about 10 minutes off, according to GPS, so uh, catch you then. Bye. about as you enter Auckland Airport. And where are we heading? I wonder. Public access, authorised personnel only. Is that right? So you can't walk down there. So let's zoom in. Okay, so this is the police station. You saw it when I um, drove down there before and got back. So 
and that's where he was taken. Seems interesting, no authorised personnel can't walk down there and you've got these people here walking freely up and down it. So, I sort of wonder how that works, I suppose. What I'll do is I'm going to take a few still shots. Moving on, people. Okay, and just so you can tell guys, I did not go past the no public access sign. Okay, onward. Okay, so that there would be the corner where the cops showed up, where the police were parking.
So that would have been where he stood. Jetstar terminal. Looks all empty at the moment. <laughs> By all means, <laughs> thank you. My guess is, this is the terminal here where he had his initial issues. I've been asking this. No, I'm not. No, 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 no. Okay, are you arresting me? Are you arresting me? Yep, okay, we can chat here because I need to get to Queenstown. The flight is cancelled. I need to get to Queenstown. She's been very rude. Now, this lady's having a problem here, right? And you are very rude. I need to see. No, it's not in your face. No, I'm not. I'm not. Obviously, you don't watch New Zealand audits, right? Okay? You do not have the right to tell me to turn my phone off in a public place. This is private. It's not. Oh, my goodness. And then. He's been stopped there. Good afternoon. We are all set to board Jet Star Flight JQ 2852 here in the front gate of the security. As you are seeing more boarding your service today, we would like passengers to sit at the back of the aircraft in row 16 to 31. That is seat number 16 to 31, so please board first. All remaining passengers, please stay there at the boarding gate. Once again, we are all set to board Jet Star Flight JQ 2852 here in the front gate. Pretty quiet down here at the home front, about two o'clock on a Monday morning. It's pretty, pretty quiet. And then he was marched out these doors. Yep, look at this. Right. Fucking hell, right there, you kids. I'm more for a race. I'm more for a race. I'm more for a race. Come on, guys, we're flying out. He, okay. I'm more for a race. For what? Why, excuse me, ask them why they're arresting me. You might guess. Just here is where he was accosted further. Hey, look, if he speaks to his son, he will calm him down. Ask please, them why they're arresting me. Ask them why they're arresting me. Trespassing. What have I done wrong? You are asking By whom? By whom? Trying to get to Queenstown? Please, By you. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Okay, come on, come on. Please turn it off. Tell son to ring Mark. No, no, don't turn it off. No, I can't turn it off. Sorry. Film the police. Film the police. This is the whole reason why you film the police. Filmed by that camera there.
up here from that camera and then taken off down the line here. So let's retrace the steps. Tony also said he went up to Air New Zealand, so we'll go up to Air New Zealand and have a look to see there too, shall we?
security van sitting there. Perhaps they're insecure about something. They have as much along here. And about here is where he was thrown into the car. Well, after she decides to stretch him while he has handcuffs on and then claim he caused her injury. Click. You like the sound effects? Just in case you're not sure, there's the LM number plate readers.
Pardon me. Are you a vlogger? Oh, thereabouts. Or are you making something for somebody? I, I'm actually doing a story on a guy that was arrested at the airport last July at Jetstar. Oh my god! <laughs> for this, taking photos. No I'm kidding, what did he do? We, I'm the, 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 police called, uh, the police were called by the Jetstar staff. Yeah. Um, he was actually showed up to take his wife to his 50th. They'd scheduled it for six months. Jetstar had no flight crew, so yeah. flight cancelled. And instead of the Jetstar services doing their job properly, mm -hmm. she got sarcastic and says, well, why don't you just go and organise a flight crew? So he did. He went to Air New Zealand and organised a flight crew, came back, and of course she gave him shits. You know, obviously we're not going to use Air New Zealand flight crew for Jetstar. <laughs> and um, would have done that. Well, that's what he did. He went away, did it, came back, told her he'd sorted it out. Yeah. Um, she just got belligerent. Police were called. Um, and it was... Mainly because he was filming Constable, Senior Constable Shree here, here at the uh, airport, this was. Yep. Just getting a few shots of the police station. Yep. Um, and yeah, she she took offence to being filmed, said it's a private place, you can't film here. And, and attacked him three times, so... The Jetstar lady did? No, the police officer did. And then it then leaned over to uh, Nicholas McIndo, security guard, S25 from Skygate Security, solicited a trespass from him, yeah. and then trespassed him. 44 seconds later, he was in handcuffs. I don't no, know if you know much about trespass laws, but no, you've got really. to actually leave first. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so you're defending him? Oh, I'm, I'm actually his um, lay assistant, McKenzie friend. Oh, yeah. So I'm not a lawyer, but I've been d doing all the documents and shit for Tony for the last, well, since July the 16th. Jesus. So, um, yeah, coming on now, almost 12 months, the police failed at their disclosure obligations. And they seem to do that a lot, eh? <laughs> Well, I've got about six people out of speeding tickets and parking tickets in, in the last six months, mm -hmm. just because they don't do their job properly. But, uh, you know, rules are there to follow, so... <laughs> yeah. So, oh, yeah, so... Completely oblivious. We, uh, most yeah, people I, are. <laughs> I didn't know that happened, which... It's all up on YouTube, just look up Auckland Man Arrested at Auckland Airport. So the police lady attacked him? Yeah, I mean, like, um, Aaron Schuster, the other constable that came along, he identified himself, and she had her ID, you know, hanging and showing. But when he went to just take a shot of it, so he knew who it was he was talking to, she had snatched the phone, you know, don't go for that. Went for him about three times, and, um... She's still a police officer? As far as I know. But that's all right. I mean, most people don't do this in, in criminal cases, but we filed a counterclaim against the police. So mm -hmm. once we get his charges dismissed, they've still got to then deal with the counterclaim. And thanks to Auckland Airport, they supplied the CCTV footage. Did they really? Yeah, they supplied it to the police oh. with a copyright notice. Yeah. And the police then went and breached that copyright notice and supplied it to, to the defendant. Really? <laughs> yep. And the police even gave away S25 McIndoe's home address in the witness statement. They, they redacted it out on the handwritten one, sent him one last month, it's been typed, and they didn't redact that, so now they, the defendant knows the home address. <laughs> so, just a complete shambles, but nothing more than I've expected from the police these days. So. Like everybody else, they got such high turnover, lots of new people. Yep, yep, okay. it's, uh, it's training. But yeah, with that right. sort of thing, you kind of got to be trained. But to think that the Auckland Airport isn't a public place, fair enough, it's private property. Yeah, yeah. But the fact that it's open means open to who? The public. <laughs> yeah, I guess you've got to have reason to be there, like a... Oh, exercising your rights, Did section 14 of the Bill of Rights. He had a plane ticket, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, here to right to. Yeah, I'm off this way. Nice chatting. Have a great day. Okay, everyone. Well done Auckland Airport for not um, 
infringing on me doing whatever the fuck I wanted to do at that airport, which is mainly exercising my rights, so no interactions at all, unless there's a blogger, unless that last guy at the end there, not too sure what he was, but he asked, so he got an airport. Um, I will give you guys an update next week after the court, or well, 10 days, and um, let you know how we all get on. Till then, ka kite ano, keep cool till after school. Bye. Keep cool till after school.